This is Gemara and Sukkah Daf Mem Beis. All the learning for this month of El, as we get into El, and as we're going to home stretch of Mesech Sukkah, has been generously sponsored the Zichos. As to Rezal Basra, a mayor whose yard state was in Beis El. Of course, all the Chayim and Menavigan Chayim and Sarsh, some Simon Rezal Zerbas, Kenendal, Tavasim, Chayim, Sarsh, Yisrael, Mendel, Lazar, Rezal, Shalay, Shomas, Namir, Shafik, Shirano, Shmo, Ben Tila, Dinam, Chan, Rizam, Chayim, and Sidi, Brachos, of Musa, Dinam, Shemina, Sviv, and Gregor, and Rechel, Shemina, Sidi, who were the Shava, Navzali, Sim, and Lazar, Reso, Shahli, Israel, as well as the Shidach, for Azalea Bas, Ita, Yisrael, Chayim, and Devaira, and Shira Miriam, Bas, Rezal, Gittel. We pick it up on the bottom of Mem Beis, excuse me, Mem Aleph Omid Beis. The last line, and I welcome everyone back here to Shalai Amir Akkadesh. It was nice meeting many of you on my uh, last trip to America. And Amir Tashem, the next trip you'll all be coming over here. But if not, we'll hopefully meet up together with everyone for a large CM. As someone remarked today, Mayid is on the horizon. We're within seven months, under seven months, to finishing the entire Mayid. How incredible. Bees of Adar Aleph, I think. Says the Gemara of Yesi Amir Yantif, from the bottom of Mimal from a base. Says the Gemara of the Waters of Yesi say, that if the first day of Sukkot falls in on Shabbos, and by accident you're carrying your lulav a little bit overly zealous, and you carry it into Rosh Hashanah, a very, very famous Gemara, what is the halacha? The halacha is not as famous. The halacha is, you're not a chayiv achatos. What's the reason? Because says the Mishnah, she'oitziu ber shos. You took it out with permission. Says the Gemara, Amr Abaye explains Abaye, as we turn over to today's daf, Membeza Medalov explains Abaye, loy shanu, this halacha is only elish loyatza abaye. You are not yoitze the mitzvah yet. If you are not yoyed to the mitzvah yet, as Rashi says, on the top line, because they're carrying it out right now, you're occupied, you're thinking about the mitzvah, and that is the reason why you would not be chayiv adin daraisa for carrying? Avol yatzbei chayiv. But if you ready or yotze, now you have no excuse why you're not thinking straight, and you anyways went and carried out the lulav. Then you are chayiv. It's an iser de'a raisa. So you're chayiv achatas. Ask the Gemara one second. Ha midagbe nafagbe. The moment you pick up that lulav and esrog, that's the mitzvah. You are not the al. You talk the lulav and esrog. So what's going on? Amr Abaye explains Abaye Kishahav Chai. This Allah is only that when you picked it up, you did not pick up the lulav the right way. You flipped it upside down. You picked it up upside down with the egg and the binding on the top. And the point in the bottom explains Rashi. That's why you are not yoyed to the mitzvah, as we'll see in the Gemaras later on. Rav Amr, our second answer, Filu Teim Shalai Hav Chai. Even say you did not turn it over. You carried down the kli. You're holding your lulav in a bag. That's in the box. And that is the reason why you're not yoytze when you pick it up. Ask the Gemara one second. Rava is the opinion that says If you carry something with something else, you carry your lulav esrog and that's my Rava is with something else. Al says Rava you're still yoytze. So what's going on? Answers the Gemara. Honey, immediately when the Rava said that din If you took it like Rashi says, you put on a glove, you put something in your hand in an honor, a reverent way. That's when we say that you're yoytzev derech And if you picked up the lulav in a plate, you picked it up in a bag. Law even Rava agrees you're not yoytzev. So the case that the Mishnah says, if you carried out the lulav into Rosh Hashanah, you're not chayev shoytziu bershos. Is a case that was in a bag, so you were not yoytzev the mitzvah. Rava's answer, and again Abayi's answer was. <coughs> Excuse me, that you flipped over the Lulav. Amar Ravuna comes on Ravuna and explains Ravuna. Let's go a bit deeper into Rav Yaisi's halacha that if you carry out this Lulav as a Gedasman Yantif, you're not Chayiv. Says Ravuna, Ima, you're Rav Yaisi, Ayla Sa'if, an Ayla, a carbon Ayla, a bird. Shinim says, Bain Agapayim, that this bird is found amongst other birds. Agapayim. The other birds were a carbon chatos. We have a whole pile of birds over here. Some are chatos and some are oilas. Of course, the difference is that a chatos, you're allowed to eat. And oila, you're not allowed to eat. So they're all mixed together. Ukasavar, and the person thought, chatos oifi. Person thinks he picks up a nice juicy chatos. He chops into it. Vachlan eats it. So what's Allah says, Rav Huna, similar, extending the dinner of Yaisi. Potter, you're exempt. Why? Because you thought you're doing a mitzvah. You thought you're eating a chatos. You ended up eating a oila, which of course, is forbidden to eat. And Rashi goes on, then Rashi explains that they're all in one corner, both the, the, the chatas and the oil are just different sprinklings, different parts of the corner, and that's why you have this pile. 
Ask the Gemara, Maika Mashlam, what's the Chiddush of this dinner, Ravuna? The Talmud Bar Mitzvah Bader. That if you make a mistake while performing a mitzvah, you're Bader because you can't be, you're not cognizant of the very that you did. Ask the Gemara, Hainu Ach. That's the exact same halacha. It's not a new halacha. That's the exact same halacha as Rabbi Yaisi. Explains the Gemara, Maud the Tema, would have thought to us with the Talmud Bar Mitzvah. When you make a mistake and you're doing a mitzvah, Bader, why? Hainu Da'ava Ar Mitzvah. At the end of the day, with the Lulav, you did the mitzvah. That's the reason why. We would think you're potter. Avalacha, in this case, David our mitzvah, Vlayav our mitzvah. In this case, you didn't end up doing our mitzvah, you ended up doing a terrible and dreadful Aveira, you ate the Ayla. Hey, Malay. You would think in this case you're not potter. Kamash Vlan, that is the Chiddush Ravuna, that even in this case you are potter. Says the Gemara, okay, Meisvei, let's ask a question, Ravuna. Rav Yaisi, Eimer HaSheikh Rasat Hamid Sheinam Evukar Kel Chasai. If someone shechs the Garben Tamid that was not examined properly, and it has a mom, what's the halacha of Shabbos? And he did it on Shabbos, Chayiv Chatos. You're Chayiv Chatos, you're even it's a Daraiz of Shechita on Shabbos. Vtarach Tamid Ach, and you have to bring a new Tamid. So what do we see over here? That even though you were trying, to do a mitzvah. You thought you are bringing the carbon tamid, but because you ended up doing an Avera, we see that you're chayif. We just said a moment ago, the Rav Yesi taught us that you're going to be potter in this case. Explains the Gemara, Amr bar minadahi. Don't ask me from that case. Why? We explained in that case, Amr Rav Shmuel bar chatoi, Amr Rav Amnuna Saba, Amr Rav Yitzhak bar Ishiyan, Amr Rav Huna, Amr Rav Kigoyin, Sheyuvihum lishka shein mubukarin. You brought it from the lishka, you brought it from a room that was not check. So it's not the while you were doing the mitzvah, you made a mistake. You're not preoccupied in the mitzvah. You went to the wrong room. You made a, you just made a mistake where you took the animal from. And that is the reason why this does not fall into the category of Rav Yaisi of Rav Huna. That tall bit of our mitzvah, you'd be exempt. Rav Yaisi said a case of tall bit of our mitzvah in our context of Lulav. Rav Huna extended it to the case of eating a carbon oil instead of a carbon chatos. But in this case, if you went and you by accident took a not tum, uh, tumim carbon and you thought it was a tumim and you shakhtan and Shabbos, in this case, you would yes, be chayiv. Says the Mishnah, a bit more into the din of lulav. As we re- wind down in this parak, the... What? Excuse me. The third parak, Lulav Agazal, on the Sechta Sukkah. Says the Mishnah, Mikabeles, Isha Miyad Bina, Umiyad Baila, a woman can accept the Lulav from either her child or from her husband, Umachzi Rasa, Lamayim, Bishabis. And the din number two, you let her return the Lulav into water on Shabbos. Review Daimer, Review Day explains, Bishabis, Machzirin. On Shabbos, you could put it back. But Beyantiv, Maisifin. On Yantiv, you could add in water. Ubimayid, and Achalamayid, you could Machzirin. And you could change the water. So three levels: Shabbos return, Yantiv add water, and Cholamayid exchange the water. Says the Mishnah: A child that knows that a shake the lulav chayiv lulav. That is the age that he's chayiv in the lulav. Says the Gemara. What was the first thing in the Mishnah? That a woman could take the lulav from her child to her husband. Ask the Gemara of Shehita, that's obvious. Ma'u the name explains the Gemara, Ha'il v'isha v'alav abas chiyuvahi. A woman is not obligated in a lulav. So I would have thought, a maloi to gabel. Not only is she not obligated, I would think she's not allowed to take it. Why is she not allowed to take it? So Rashi in the bottom of here explains, you know why? Rashi on the fifth, on the wide line says Rashi, because for her it's an iser tiltal. It's moksa. So you would think she's not even allowed to take the lulav. Of. Explains the Mishnah, no, Kamash Malan, that since she's doing a mitzvah, the item does not take on the status of Muxin, even though she's not obligated, she's allowed to take the lulav, she's allowed to do the mitzvah. Says the Mishnah, says the Gemara, quoting the Mishnah, Katan Ayodele, and Anaya, ten lines to the bottom, and Bezim and Elf, a child that knows that a sheikh is allowed to, that's the age that he's obligated in lulav. Tanar Abonan, Katan Ayodele, and Anaya, Kata knows that a sheikh, chayiv alulav. And now we're going to go on a lengthy list of all the different ages that a child is obligated in different mitzvahs. Lisatev, when he can put on, when he can wrap himself, chayiv titsis, that's when he puts on titsis. Lishmar tefillin, when he can watch his tefillin, aviv lekech le tefillin, his father buys a tefillin. Yodil adab, he knows that a tefik, aviv lem day taira. Dad got to teach him Taira. Vikriyishma. Taira Mayi, what does it mean that his father is teaching him Taira? Amar Rav Amnuna, Taira, Tziva, Lanu, Moshe, Marasha, Kilas, Yaakov. Kriyishma Mayi, what does it mean teaching him Taira? Pulse, Grisha, the first Pashik. Hayodel, Lishmar, Gufay, when the child knows that it watches his body, Eichlan, Al Gufay, Tairus, then you let it eat on his body, Tairus, meaning even that which he touches, we assume it's Tar, because the child knows how to keep himself Tar. Back, of course, Bizman, where they were very careful on Tum of a Taira. Lishmar, Siyadav, when he could watch his hand, Eichlan, Al Yadav, he could touch, he could watch even that which he eats. Obviously, the Chiddush being normal, say, your hands touch everything, but the kid knows how to be cognizant, you're allowed to even eat 
that which his hands touch. Tyros, Eichlan Aliyah, the Tyros, excuse me. Haideh Ali Shal, if he knows an answer or question, then, Bershus Ayachit, Sveikai Tamei, Bershus Aram is Sveikai Tar, the general rule that Safik Tamei, Bershus Aram is Tar. But now we're learning a caveat in that rule. It's not any Safik, it's a real Safik, meaning if a child knows an answer, you said, did you touch this? Yes. Did you touch this? No. Did you touch a grave? Yes. Did you touch a grave? No. If the child says, Amy, I I do not know, that is the case of Safik, that is the case of Safik Tamei, which is the rabbin will be tar. Haidea Libra is Kaaba, but he knows that it's spread out his hands. Chalkin la chuma base granais. We give him chuma because that's how we could show that he is a kayan by dochening. Moving over to Membeza Mebeza. Haidea Lishchai is when the child knows how to shacht. Eichlan Mishchita, so you can eat from Mishchita. But comes along the Gemara, Namar Avuna, he explains. Fushikadal, I mean, a Kaaba of a Gadal, an adult has to be standing there to ensure that he did the Shchita correctly. Meaning, at the age that he can push his hand, he's allowed to do it. But the Gadal explains, Rashi, it's either to make sure he doesn't drop his hand to raise his hand, etc. Tysus comes along and Tysus just points out a, a massive novelty comes out of Rashi. The let's say the kid doesn't know how to do a shchita, but someone watches him and you see him take a knife and he does a perfect shchita. So you would think he might not know what he's doing, but he did it. Says over there, Tysus points out that would not be good. That is the chiddush of Ravuna. Says the Gemara Yachalech Luxayis dug in the age that a child can eat a kizayis of grain marchikam b'tzayasai. You have to distance yourself from his feces, maybe raglov and from his urine arba amois. For Amois, that is when it is a din of real feces in urine, for tefillah, for brachas, for delivery, kedusha, etc. Not a little baby where the tzaya and the urine does not have the same potency. Amar of Chista, Fushiach Lechel, Vechlechel's brass, only if the kid can eat it in a short amount of time. So you could take a baby and you could feed him a dot of grain over the course of five days. It's not going to do anything. He has to eat the grain with a normal shear of ktechlis ras to forty nine minutes, etc. Amar Chayav Reid Rav Yevu of a gadol after bishani achlech of ktechlis ras. Once you actually are a gadol, we don't care. Let's say someone's sick. Let's say someone's elderly and they can't eat. Still, their excrement, still their tzayah as a din of tzayah, and you have to distance yourself. How do we know? The chesed the tayer says. Excuse me, not the tayer. Then the navi says. Yosef das yosef michav that when you have more das when you have knowledge yosef michav there's more. There's more pain referring to that which you eat that it's going to be has this potency, and that is when you're gonna to have to distance yourself from it. Yachalachal, Kazai Sali, when a child can eat a Kazai of roasted meat, Shachal Lavas a Pesach, that's the age that eats a Karma Pesach, Shenanar, the Torah says, Ishlafi Achlai, each man according to that which he can eat. Rav Yudah, Imer Achiachal, Avarer Achila, till he could choose that which he eats. What does that mean? Says Rav Yudah, Keita, Nystin, Light Sarar, Vizarko, you give him a rack and he throws it out. Ego is Vinotlai, that is the age that he's going to be able to eat the Carbon Pesach, and those are all the different ages of feeding. Excuse me, of the obligations of a child, and of course, obligations of a parent to ensure that the child fulfills all these mitzvahs. Hajjon Allah Lulva Gazel, we should do a comeback, we should do a Chazar of this wonderful third parak as we get closer and a little closer to Sukkis. These Allah has taken more and more meaning. Now is the perfect time to Chazar as we get closer to Sukkis and the Mir Tasham. We shall learn many, many more Prakim together. Let's begin the next parak, the parak of Lulava Arava, the parak of the practicals. What days were Yaitzi these mitzvahs? Says the Mishnah Lulav Arav Shisha Vishiva. The mitzvah of Lulav, the mitzvah of Arav that we're going to see, to, referring to the base of Migdash, you perform them either for six or seven days over Sukkis. Halal Vasimcha, the mitzvah of Halal, and the mitzvah of rejoicing in Shemayin as eight days. Sukkah, the mitzvah of Sukkah, and he's Chamayim, pouring the water, Shiva, seven days. Hachalil, the flute, is Chamisha Vishisha, five and six. Lulav is Shiva, Lulav is seven days. Now the Mishnah explains. Kate said, excuse me, Lulav Shiva Kate said, what is the scenario that you take your Lulav for seven days? Says the Mishnah, Yant or Rishal Chagat, the first day of Sakis, Shechali is Bishabis, that falls on a job, Lulav Shiva, Lulav is seven days. Vishagul Ayamim, and if the first day of Sukkis falls on any other day, Shisha, because it's not the Yichas Shabbos, it's not Push of Shabbos. Arav Shiva Kate said, when is Arav seven days? Yom Ashvi Shal Arav Shechali is Bishabis, the seventh day of Arava. So we're seeing a unique day in that the seventh day of Arava, Shan Arava, is the special day of Arava, then Arava any other day, she said six days. Mitzvah Lulav Kitsa, what is the mitzvah of Lulav? Bishabis, Yantiv Rishal Chagat, the first day of Yantiv Shalias, Bishabis falls in Yantiv. Moelich and Asulavayim Narabayis, they bring the Lulav to Arabayis. This, of course, is slightly reminiscent to Gemara we had two days ago. The Gemara bring your Lulav to Shul before Shabbos, which the Gemara will deal with more tomorrow and the day after. And there were people there ready to take the Lulavim. 
from the people that brought the Merav Shabbos, Satan and Sana Gabi Itzvah, they put them on the platform. And the elders will put their Lulavim in a special room. And when they bring off the Lulav, they would tell the people, Lamer, to say, Call me Ishamagia Lulavi. Whoever gets my Lulav, Liyad it is, and Hare Ulai, it is. Of course, we know this din of Lachad has to be yours. So they would tell each person to put down your Lulav and say, Whoever gets it is going to be theirs. Lamach the next day, Mashkim, they wake up early. Wake up early to be yet to the midst of Bali, and they would come to be some mixture of Chazanim Zarkin Aisalavim. They would throw the Lulav him. Pretty dangerous, as we'll see. In front of all the people, Vin Machatvim, they would grab the Lulav, Umakim Eshaz Chavir, they would whack each other. Ksharo Bezdich, Abol De Sakana Bezdich, this is getting too violent. We're having fist fights, we're having Lulav fights. What would happen is Kinu Shei Kolach of Echad, Naito of Esa, the end of Sakana, each person should take the Lulav in their house on the first day. So we're already seeing two stages of the din of Lulav on Shabbos. Stage number one was in the base of Migdash, you would bring it there Shabbos, the attendants would tell them, tell, say whoever gets it, it's theirs, they would leave it there the next day, they would throw whoever would get it, who would have fist fights. So that stage number two was they would take it at home, but again, they were still taking it on Shabbos. Tomorrow we'll deal with the practicals, when we would have actually taken the Lulav on Shabbos, and we'll pick up from the Gemara.